To direct So Dear to My Heart, Walt hired Harold Schuster, a former film editor who made a big impression on the Disney family with his moving film, My Friend Flippa. Years later, Mr. Schuster told me that after many meetings and the development of storyboards, an animation technique that was rarely applied to live action movie making in those days, his boss pretty much left him alone. Walt would visit the locations in the San Joaquin Valley and Sequoia National Park on Sundays, and of course, he loved seeing the vintage railroad train they used in several key scenes. So Dear to My Heart was well received by critics, but it wasn't a box office hit. Even so, it remained one of Walt Disney's personal favorites. As he told one reporter, So Dear was especially close to me. Why, that's the life my brother and I grew up with as kids out in Missouri. The great racehorse, Dan Patch, was a hero to us. We had Dan Patch's grandson on my father's farm. I introduced a screening of So Dear to My Heart at this year's TCM Classic Film Festival in Hollywood, where it played to an enthusiastic audience. I'm so glad we had a chance to share it with all of you tonight. Now don't go away, because I'll be back with more Disney gems from here at the D23 Expo. You can find more about it at d23.com. Up next, we're bringing you a few entertaining Disney shorts, The Grasshopper and the Ants, Rescue Dog, and Corn Chicken.